Hey there guys, uh, so so many things 2000 here, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you, um, my new hamster, um, his fur is a little bit matted in the back because of all the shavings and things, um, I can't touch him because today is the first day of me having him, I pet him, I can pet him, um, I named him Samson, He's a long-haired hamster, so you ha he has to be groomed every day. Um, when I say groomed, just a little cat brush or a little comb or um, even a little toothbrush will do it. Um, I got him the dwarf hamster kit. He's only two months old, but a big. Uh, this doesn't really fit him, so I'm going to have to look at getting him a new cage. Um, as you can see, I have to put cardboard up here. Let me get it so you guys can see it. Hold on just a second. As you can see there, sorry about the glare, but right there, I had to put cardboard all around there so the water bottle came up higher for him to um, drink out of. Um, these really do not leak at all. Um, they're, 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 you know, they leak at first, when, and then once you hit the little ball thing twice and, like, wipe off the rest of the water off of the bottom, um, it doesn't leak at all. Um, here he is. That's Samson. Let him sniff me. Um, you just really want to get him used to your voice. Um, he's a very friendly hamster. As you can see, he got a little bit scared, so I'm going to try and leave him alone. Um, he's cream colored. As you can see, the back of his fur is a little bit dirty and nasty. Um, and you can actually trim that fur back there, um, right where I was pointing at, right there. You can actually trim that with a pair of scissors if you're really careful so it doesn't get matted and stuff. Um, the, the cage itself is too small for him. He can't really maneuver. Um, he can... But with this igloo in here now that I got him, because he ha he can't use a small one, the igloo I have in here for him, um, he can't, really can't maneuver at all. Um, I mean, yeah, it was a good deal for 25 bucks to get him this, but um, I really should have rethought it before I got him it. So when he's uh, when I have the money, uh, which should be sh soon, I'm gonna get my allowance money. And go get him some another bag of food and some, um, well, I don't need another bag of food yet, but once I get the money and he needs another bag of food, I'm going to go ahead and get him that bag of food in another cage for him. Um, because as you can see, it's just way too small for him. It was a dwarf hamster kit. Um, as you can see here, um, here he is again. Let me move out of the way of the light this really doesn't have good lighting at all there's the cage as you can see very very not too small um but as you can hear that screaming wheel is in there because the wheel that i got for him um that that i mean the wheel that came in the starter kit um was on was too he couldn't even get in it it was too small for him um, he just really needs a bigger wheel, just bigger space, um, much more space, as you see him in there, you see this back end moving, that's all the fur that needs to be chopped off, um, I'm gonna try and start holding him in things, um, there, maybe you guys can see him a little better now, I had to move my light way, 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 way over here, oops, it unplugged. Um, so, uh, let me fix that, and I will get back to you guys. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My light unplugged, and I had to pause my video camera. Um, he's gone under his little igloo. Um, as you can see here, a little bit dark in there. Um. There, now you can probably see the wheel a little bit there. You can see the igloo. Um, let me lift up the igloo. You guys can see him. That's Samson. Um, 
Yeah, he looks like a Samson or a Victor, and I just like Samson better. Um, so yeah. Uh, the cage came with a bag of shavings. I didn't use all the shavings. I used half of it, because it was kind of a small bag of uh, Carefresh. Because this was the Carefresh Dwarf Hamster Kit. Um, it also came with two of these. Uh, I only put one in, but it also came with two of these. Uh, two sticks, little broom, two sticks, and uh, the pet store lady gave me this little two stick. He's kind of bit off of it a little, um, not my butt, but not a lot of it. Um, this is his food dish. Oops, sorry, can't really. Um, he only needs a little bit. Oops, he's got a little bit of fluff in there. Um, you can actually make your own bedding. It's the same thing as Carefresh bedding. Except for, it's just made out of paper. Um, that's really all Carefresh bedding is. Because it feels the same as when the bedding dries. Um, of the, pa the bedding I made. It's just paper with a uh, dye in it. Um... A lot of people do think, though, that it Carefresh is bad for them. It's really not. It's it's actually um, very good for them. Um, it comes in confetti, purple, brown, white, um, blue, and green. So that's like five colors. Um, like I said, his wheel was too small for him, so I put my other hamster's old wheel in there. And, uh, it actually needs some more graphite in it from all the, um, running and stuff in it, as you can hear. That's what it sounds like, but except for when he's running. So, I gotta fix that. Um, he's probably getting stressed out, and I don't want that. So, um, because he can get wet tail. Oops, sorry, buddy. He can get wet tail from that. Um... My sister accidentally uh, didn't knock him over, but when she sat down on the couch, she, uh, the cage kind of flipped, not, like, went on its side. So I had to give him a little bit more food, but they really only need, like, four, what is it, uh, two table, two teaspoon, no, not teaspoons, two, two, uh, spoonfuls a day, just, uh, two, uh, Hold on a minute. Now, it's going to be dark over here, so just give me a second. Bear with me here, guys. Um, my hamster, my other hamster is used to a different kind of food. But, um, he actually likes this food. He's, eat, he's eating it just fine. It's not giving him wet tail. Um... So only about that much, but uh, two of these a day um, is just enough. Um, if you don't think they have enough in there and you think that your hamster is going to eat a little bit more, you can go ahead and the maximum would be about three, three or four spoonfuls. Um, you only want to give them two of these and then if you don't think they have enough or enough big pieces, you can go ahead and go like that and give them some. Um... Also, seed-based foods, it's not necessarily going to hurt them, but um, it's not all really, really good for them, all that good for them. Um, it's just got a lot more fats and calories and things. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is a uh, block-based that came in his thing. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. It's about... Three more dollars expensive, about 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 four more dollars expensive. It's just about after tax, it'd be about six or seven dollars. Um, but it's not a bad price. Like two little bags that came in this, which were only like if you ever get like um what you call it uh sunflower seeds, like sunflower seed uh, stuff. Uh, what you call it. Uh, you know, the seeds that you can get from Wawa and stuff. Um, it's like two of those, and it filled, uh, 
this this container like about a quarter of the way up and like I said they don't need a lot so you, like block based foods and things is uh better for them like this has some dried up peas in it let me try and get a big piece so you guys can see it oops dropped it that's little peas little dried up peas um, I'm going to go ahead and give this to him just because I touched it already. And um, I don't really want to put that back in there. So let me go ahead and give that to him. He's just sleeping right now because he thinks it's daytime from all the lights around his cage. So um, he's probably not really asleep. He's just probably un hiding under there from being a little bit scared of the voice and the, all the maneuvers and things. Um... So, like I said, just because it's the first day, I'm not going to be messing with him too much. Um, a lot of people wait about two hours before they mess with them, and that's not good. Uh, you should wait the minimum of four, four to five days to hold them. Um, the maximum would be like a week. Um, but I'm going to probably start holding mine within four days, and as you can see, he smells the food. He smells it. He thinks I gave him more food. He came off the cage, and man, if this fly doesn't stop. Um, so let me go ahead and open the cage. You guys can see his face better. Samson. As you can see, he doesn't mind being pet. Um, 